Kalau aku dia tu yo ho, aku lulus video online tu apa? This is the first time I'm showing our YouTube channel or you watching our YouTube videos. Can you do well by hitting the subscribe button? And very quickly today, we are going to be changing you how to set up your own host identity server and then unlimited emails. So what are the requirements before you can set up your own host identity server? Uh, I believe before you struggle on this video, you understand what an SMTP is. SMTP is just a simple mail transfer protocol. And when we talk about host SMTP server, it's uh, a private server that allows you to host your own SMTP server and send unlimited emails every day. So guys, the first requirement we need in this uh, tutorial is um, one, we need your VPS machine. VPS machine can be gotten from Contable or Mobile Cloud, depending on, on you. But make sure that uh, your VPS provider has port 25 open. It's very important. Then you get your own domain. You can get domain from uh, GoDaddy, get domain from Namecheap. But in this video, we'll be using Namecheap domain. Now, after you get your all this thing, uh, the first command you need to run is to um, update your APT. So, once you update your APT, then you need to set your host name together with your domain. So, we need to run the command um, host name. Run this command. Now, if you check the host name, you can see it has been changed. Let's say host name. Change to our domain as well. So, what you need to do now is to go to your domain and set your A record for this domain together with the IP, your VPS IP machine. I'm going to my domain, then I'm setting in with this and uh, click on save. Done. Now, let's go back to our server. I'll go in here. So the next command will be this, um, in case if you need the tutorial video guide on how to set up your own SMTP server, we have our SMTP command and script line that you can get, but mind you this is not a free product and it's not a free service, so you need to uh, pay a charge for this, so we have attached everything you need and we have a full course on how you can set up your own, you just need to be running the command one after the other and follow the video step. So once you run this, you run the next command. So to run a command, you just need to right click to paste. You don't need to press Ctrl V or trying to paste. just right click then to automatically paste. So I'm going to run the next command now. So I'm going to install git, install git, run, and I will install core, install core. okay, then with this command I'm going to start the installation of the poster, okay, done. So this command is for installation of RabbitMQ. Those are our database. So I'm already setting up our also database on the server. So an installation of Nano Nano will follow. So now it's time to make in our configuration. Enabling this command. So scroll down. The first thing I'll be doing here is to change my bind address, bind address. On this bind address, I'm just going to use my VPS IP machine. Uh, it is this VPS IP machine here. Then right click to paste this. Okay, sorry. I'll copy that. Okay, let's go back to copy. I'm going to save. Go back there. Then I'm right, good. Then we'll go down again. So you go down to your main database and set the password you use when you're creating your SAS database. Let me pause this video and set my password. So 
So right now the next thing you have to do is to initiate your poster. So using this command, I'm going to initiate my poster. So right now you just need to set it your uh, user. So I will paste in the domain, sorry, the email I want to use, then click on enter, then the first name of your domain of your server will be here. So I'm not saying Okay, so you put in your first name, you can just say yours, and the last name, and delete it, you can enter the initial password. Okay, so once you get your initial password, I click on enter. So it has been created, just write the command poster. Everything should be done, 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 done. Okay, so let's check the status. So it should be up and running. Good. So the last command line, so the candy will be here. that's it done. So now we need to access our post SMTP using mail. So let me give you the So this is the poster now. This is the poster SMTP. So you log in with your email created and the password. So your password. Log in. And then create your first credentials. And you can say yours. Create organization. Give your first server. Yours. Admin. Give server. Then here is the server look. This is how it looks. You need to add your domain. So add domain here. Add your first domain. And here is the US and create domain. So you go on your domain manager and set everything, your DNS record and everything will be set from the domain manager. You can see they will give you your GKIM and some other information that you want to put in there. So let's just see. Let's take a look. You can see this GKIM record, this return, and this NX record. So you go back to your domain. And don't forget in this video, I said we're going to be using Namecheap. So I'm using Namecheap now. Then I will set up everything and come back to the video. So now once everything is being set up, you go back to your poster and check click on check my records and everything should be green you can see they are now going from green which means everything is well configured so let's try to send message but we'll go to messages and send message and uh, i'll put some of my new and it and scroll down oh before that we need to set our reverse dns let me do my reverse dns and I'll be back in the video. So once your device DNS is being set, let's go back to this place and click on send message. Then refresh this message has been sent. So let me open my Gmail. So let's check the promotion and it's enter promotion box. And see this this is our test. You can see this is this is the test. It's awesome. So this is how to set up your own SMTP server. If you want to set up, if you want us to set up for you, you can just click on the description below this video. And if you want to get a course on how you can set up on your own, you can also click on the description below to reach us on our social media. So thanks for watching this video once again and stay blessed.